Right. Welcome to the six month challenge. Right now, it is 7 33 p.m. October 31st. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be 7th, uh, November 1st, which is going to be the first day of the six month challenge. I have no idea what to expect. I'm excited. I'm scared at the same time, but I'm more excited because I've never committed to something like this before in my life, but now I am committed to something like this. So it's going down. It's going down. It's going to be dope. It's going to be great. I can't wait uh, to make this thing happen. Okay, I got a crazy schedule right in front of me, which I'm going to be following. I'm going to be working. Oh, um, uh, this is awkward. Looks like I was supposed to work today, but I totally missed it. Ah, I don't have to talk to my boss about that one. But anyway, tomorrow morning, the six month challenge begins. Every single day, I'm going to be doing certain things which will put my life in check, which will regulate me, which will, um, you know, make sure that I'm set up for success. For example, I'm going to be waking up every single day, waking up and starting my day off with prayer. Okay. So maybe that's a really good place to start um, as far as explaining to you guys how this challenge is going to be happening and all the good stuff. Um, I'm going to wake up every single morning and start my day with prayer. Uh, and that's because... Um, over the past few years, I have developed a connection with the divine. I've developed my own connection with the divine, with something that feels really, really, really divine and holy to me. And uh, and I I know we all we all have that, but I've come to the conclusion, as if right now, that making time for this practice deliberately is very important because if it's really the divine right if you're gonna go show up for your job every day and make fifteen dollars an hour sixteen dollars an hour and you show up dressed well and all this stuff and you talk really nice to people because you want to get tips and all this stuff like if you want to show up for God, for your creator, for the source of the universe, for the one that created everything, right? How would you show up for that every single day, right? That's no joke. And you're not going to be like, oh, I'm, I didn't have time for it today. Oh, like, you know, it, it's showing up before number one, you know, the one to fear, you know, the one to respect, the one to love, the, the ultimate power. If you want to show up before that, you got to do it in a, you know, uh, in a, in a, in an appropriate manner. So why not, you know, like I'm, I'm, doing it like this. You don't have to ever, you know, but I just thought, you know, waking up in the morning and doing it first thing, that's going to be fun. Why not? Let me do it. Um, or it feels right to wake up in the morning and do it. And I, I'm Muslim. 
and I grew up in a Muslim household and I grew up um, praying, um, you know, to God and praying the Muslim way. You know, I never believed in it um, or God the way I do now, but I did grow up, you know, copying my dad or copying the people in school, you know, I was told that this is the way to pray. So I prayed in that way, but I really like that Muslims pray in the morning before sunrise. And I think it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So I want to take that, you know, I don't pray five times a day, but I'm going to pray in the morning before sunrise when I wake up. So um, that's that. And then I'm going to, you know, complete my morning routine, maybe do some breath work, maybe in a cold shower or something, depending on the day. And then I'm going to go to the gym. You know, I'm following a protocol about the gym. I don't want to get into the gym protocol thing in this video. I want to keep this video short. Uh, so this video has already gone on for uh, six minutes, six minutes or something. So... I'm not going to get into the gym stuff right away, right now, but I'll give you a brief um, explanation of all the things. Okay, so there's these different categories in my life in which I will be creating more regulation, okay? Following certain rules, for following certain guidelines and all the different good, good stuff. So I'll just tell you what these are and throughout the challenge, if you're watching these videos, I'm going to explain to you what's happening and what each, you know, uh, how how I'm treating each category, okay? So it's going to go like this. Eating, sleeping, exercising, professional life, education, um, love life or relationships, um, Charity, divinity, which I just explained briefly, reflection, mentorship, and fun. So I'm going to regulate my life in these categories for the next six months. Basically making time for um, each one of these deliberately. I keep using that word deliberate. What does deliberate mean? Deliberate means done consciously and intentionally. So yes, I'm using it correctly. Making time for those things deliberately and seeing how that's going to change my life. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to leave that at that. I'm already at eight minutes in this video. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you watch this far, you're a real one. These are, this is the beginning of my journey on these types of challenges and things. And if you're watching this right now, you're a real one. I really, 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 really appreciate you. So yeah, with that being said, thank you very much and stay tuned. I'm probably gonna do another video like this tomorrow, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. No promises. I don't know, like I said in my past video, I don't know how uh, I'm going to do these videos, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure out a nice flow for them, and I'll be posting regularly, keeping people updated on my six-month challenge. With that being said, thank you very much, and peace.